It's the Shatkin First Down Pre-Game Show. Presented by Northtown Automotive with your host, Rich Gensler. Featuring Jared Shatkin. And our special guest, Thurman Thomas. Now, from Sorrentino's in Williamsville, here's your host, Rich Gensler. Welcome to the Shatkin First Down Buffalo pregame show. The Bills with their first Sunday 1 o'clock game in almost a month taking on the Dolphins. Of course, we know what happened in week 2, 35 nothing down in South Florida. The Bills at 4-2, and two, the Dolphins at 1-6. and six. This is our inaugural show here at Sorrentino's on Main Street in Williamsville. I'm Rich Gensler. We'll be joined shortly by Jared Shack. And let's break this down. This is the first time you're seeing this show. So here's how it's going to work. Four quarter breakdowns. First quarter is going to be the state of the Bills. What happened in the past week's game, and this would be two weeks ago in this episode, obviously. And then looking forward as well with the keys. That'll happen in the fourth quarter. In between our player spotlight in the second quarter today, Bills Hall of Famer Thurman Thomas will join us here. And in the third quarter, hardcore Bills fans, part of the Bills Mafia, make up our huddle. We'll do some trivia with Tino's dough to give away and also Dr. Todd Shacken with today's injury report as well inside an hour until kickoff out at Hamark Stadium. Let's bring in Jared Shacken and Jared some takeaways from the Tennessee game. A lot of positives. They went to 10 different receivers. That was a good thing. On the negative side, penalties were tough. Obviously, the pass rush, no sacks against the most sacked quarterback in that game. Red zone, just two for five. What were some of your takeaways from the Tennessee game? Thanks, Rich. Uh, yeah, I definitely had some problems with how the defense played, especially since uh, we had been we had such a such positive success during the first five weeks of the season. But we definitely had some issues stopping the run, and it kind of seemed like a similar defense to what we what happened last year in that Tennessee game. And then because we had def- issues stopping the run, we had some issues against that play action pass, and it seemed kind of as if it was a new attack to the Bills. And um, I, I'm not saying it was a step back. I think maybe the Bills can watch the film and learn from this game, but it's definitely something that other teams are going to uh, try to emulate that game of the Tennessee Titans. Sure. I mean, the Dolphins, we'll talk about it a little bit later in, in the show. They're a pretty talented receiver core top to bottom. A.J. Brown ate up the Bills in that Tennessee game. Let's move on, though, to the state of the Bills in terms of the AFC now. We saw what happened this past weekend with Cincinnati and their blowout win on the road against the Ravens, who I think everybody thought was maybe the toast of the town. I remember after the Tennessee game, what happened? The Bills went from being maybe number one in some power rankings to out of the top five in a lot of people's power rankings. So my question to you is, where are the Bills in the AFC, knowing what Cincinnati did, knowing what the Ravens are? The Chargers were off, but they're still in the mix, obviously. The Raiders are still there. Where do you put the Bills in the AFC? AFC. So the fact that we had a bye week led to a lot of overreaction because we, they weren't able to see the Bills play again. We were a foot away from winning that game probably and still being the top team in the AFC. So I, I still believe we're a better team than Cincinnati. I believe the, that we're the team to beat since we already beat the Ravens. And then if you look at the Chiefs, they're totally falling back at the end of the pack. So I, I don't think that the Bills are really in a state of concern. I think that one loss isn't going to define the season. I, I think we're top of the AFC still in my mind. I agree 100% with you for a couple of reasons. Number one, if it were not for the special teams punt block in the Steeler game in week one, and, and as, far, as far as I'm concerned, throw out week one of the NFL. The Jets beat Tennessee, right? I mean, week one should be completely thrown out as far as I'm concerned. You can't technically, but that should be thrown out. And then obviously the fourth down play, you, you, the Bills should have beaten Tennessee in the end, all things considered. Then they win the four games that they do by an average of, and they didn't just beat the teams they played, they destroyed the teams they played. They won by an average of 29 points in those games. So do that math. For me, I agree with you 100%. The Bills are the number one team in the AFC. Well, we'll get Thurman Thomas's opinion on where the Bills sit and his talk about the Dolphins Bills today. Plus, his past history with both teams. Thurman Thomas at our player spotlight coming up next on the Shack in First Down Buffalo pregame show. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin here with Hall of Fame running back Thurman Thomas. My family and I have been coming to Dr. Shatkin's dental office for years. The office is beautiful and the staff is outstanding. Thanks, Thurman. It's been an honor for me to take care of you and your family. For a Hall of Fame smile, go where the pros go. Dr. Todd Shacken at the Aesthetic Associates Center. Call today for a free consultation, 839-1700.
Your kitchen is the heart of your home, so make it what you've always wanted. Empire Granite Marble Quartz has everything you need to start your kitchen countertop makeover, all within your budget. Offering 24 months, 0% financing for a limited time, Empire has the largest indoor full slab showroom in Western New York. So visit the showroom today. Make your dreams a reality with luxury you can afford. Okay, team, we're down by six with only one play left. It's comeback time. Yeah. yeah. We need a play. The reverse ribeye. No good. The porterhouse pitch. Too risky. The strip steak sweep. That's it. Go Russell. Russell. you like to have dinner tonight? Russell's, of course. Be my guest and let us do the rest. I couldn't eat even on my right side. It was sore, it hurt, I couldn't chew. It really bothered me. I had went to other places and it was kind of expensive for me. I had many implants. I didn't feel any pain. Once I got them, it was like the old me came back. It just changed my life, you know? It made me feel more confident. It makes a big difference. Yeah, it does. Many dental implants can change your life, too. You can be you again. Call us at 839-1700 for a free consultation. It's one of the best things ever. Welcome back to the Shatkin First Down Buffalo pregame show here in quarter number two. Time for our player spotlight. And our debut show here at Sorrentino's on Main Street in Williamsville, joined by Bill's Hall of Famer, Thurman Thomas, great to see you, man. Great to be here. Great what, to be what here. What can I, I? I feel terrible. There's nothing in front of you. I'm, I'm a terrible host. What can I get you? No, you're good. You're good. You no, sure? I'm good. Yeah, I okay. had my I had my water and my coffee this morning, so I'm all good to go. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, Bills and Dolphins coming up within the hour. Obviously, massive game for you personally for a lot of different reasons. Right. Uh, before you get to the game in particular. Where are you putting the Bills? Everybody does their power rankings, right? right. Everything that's been happening with the, you know, the Bengals and the right. Ravens and the Chargers yeah. and the Raiders and the Chiefs. Where are the Bills for you right now? I think the Bills are in the top five of the league. I really do. Obviously, you know, having two losses, but you see what they're doing in the AFC. There's a lot of tough teams uh, in the NFC. But with the AFC, I, I put the Bills probably in at number three right now. I know Cincinnati's on a roll right now. Uh, obviously, you know, before last week, you thought Baltimore was number one. And obviously, so I, I still would put the Bills either two or three. I think Cincinnati is probably the better team in the National Football League right now. But uh, the Bills will be there at the end of the day. For sure. Okay, let's talk about the game today. Obviously, we know what happened in week two, 35 nothing, a blowout on the road in Miami. Now the Bills back home in front of the home crowd, divisional game. What do you make of today? Tua, by the way, has played pretty well in the last two weeks, albeit – against Atlanta and Jacksonville, right. but still, he looks a little bit better than he might have. Yeah, uh, the Bills are pissed off. <laughs> They're coming off the, uh, the loss in Tennessee and then having a bye week. Uh, you know, I, I expect this game to be just like the first one. I, I really do here at home, divisional game, like you said. Uh, you know, Miami was our rivalry, but it turned into New England being our rivalry team. But I, I think right now, I, I, I see the Bills coming out and really take control of this football game in the first half uh, because they know that they're a good football team. And Sean McDermott will not allow them to go out there and not have a bad game. Uh, yeah, it might be a couple of bad games or one or two, but these guys will be prepared. And I think the game against Miami, I, I think it won't even be close. Sean McDermott, by the way, is... Coach Bill's teams are 4-0 and coming off the bye. We know what happened after the Arizona bye week last week. They go right. in and, and run the table until, of course, they lose in the championship game. So, all right, you end your career. I have to tell you, we have to talk about this right. in Miami, right? Now, Thurm, this is Babe Ruth going from Boston to New York, <laughs> right? This is if you're... I just like going from UPS to FedEx, right? Right, right. okay, right. This is if you're in Texas going to Oklahoma, right? A Bill right. going to Miami. So, when you did, how... Comfortable or uncomfortable were you about it? And, and did you get any backlash at the beginning? Or were people more on your side based on what had happened to you leaving the Bills? You know what? I mean, not being up here in Buffalo, obviously I wouldn't hear about what the fans were saying or what uh, the radio stations or the television stations were saying. When I was down in Miami, it was strictly business for me. It, it was strictly uh, go out and win. But going into that year, I told Dave Wanstead, who was a head coach, I want to win two games. I want to win two games, and they're going to be both, both against Buffalo. I don't care what else y'all do against the other teams. I want to win two football games. And, uh, and we did go 2-0, but unfortunately, I got hurt midseason and, and wasn't able to come back here uh, 
to uh, to the Buffalo game against Miami here in, in, in Orchard Park and was wondering, you know, how that reception would have been, you know, but, uh, you know, it's over with. It happened. Uh, I was just doing what I was supposed to be doing at that time. Sure. And, uh, you know, I, and, and I tell you what, I had a great time in Miami. I had a great time in Miami. I got to know Jason Taylor. I got to know Zach Thomas, you know. Uh, Jay Fiedler. I hung out with Marino more than I ever hung out with Dan Marino. <laughs> and uh, so it wasn't a bad thing. It was a little different. And fortunately, I was really upset about the way it happened. But uh, it turned out for the best. I came back here and retired as a bill. And you're still here. And you made your <laughs> home here. here. You made your family here. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, of course, married a Buffalo girl, too, which helps. Absolutely. It helps. Uh, it is Halloween, Thurman. Yes. So if my kids are stopping by the Thurman Thomas house in costume tonight, what's filling up their bag? Um, Snickers, Reese's Cups, that's pretty much all we do. I mean, we eat it year-round, so, so <laughs> that's, what, that's what you would get at our house. But where we live, unfortunately, out in Colden, we have, and we've been in this house for 12 years, we have not seen one trick-or-treater. I mean, my driveway is like 800 yards off the, <laughs> off the beaten path, you can't even see it, but if you look down our street, every house is like that, but, uh, you know, we, we miss those days, and, uh, but, uh, yes, Snickers and Reese's Cups will be the uh, candy of choice. Very good. Lastly, quick score prediction on today's game. Um, Bills 38, Dolphins 10. Okay. I'll, gi I'll give them 10 points. Another walloping and the Bills <laughs> cover. Therm, thanks for being here. I really uh, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Absolutely. All right, coming up next here at Sorrentino's on Main Street in Williamsville, in the Shack and First Down Buffalo pregame show. We're going to go right into the huddle. Stay right here. Hi, this is Steve Christie. When the Bills needed a clutch kicker, they called me. When I needed a dentist to care for my family, I called the best, Dr. Todd Shacken from the Aesthetic Associates Center. Dr. Shacken and his team have provided us with the care that we need. Are you embarrassed to smile because of loose dentures or missing teeth? You can be you again with Shacken Mini Dental Implants. Call Dr. Todd Shacken today at 716-839-1700 or go to drtshacken.com. Empire Granite Marble Quartz has Western New York's largest indoor showroom with the best selection of natural and engineered countertops. Transform and increase the value of your home with custom quality from Empire Granite Marble Quartz. Replace your old countertops starting at just $19.95, including installation. 12 months, 0% financing available. Shop now at the corner of Walden and Transit or visit us online at empiregmq.com. I am so happy with my experience that I had at I Smile Spas today. Got my teeth professionally whitened. I have months of results in less than an hour. No pain, seriously not even a sting. They're not sensitive. You leave with a kit to continue your whitening. Absolutely incredible. I am so happy I ever did this. I can't stop smiling. Western New York. Smile again with confidence. Call 43SMILE today. Welcome back to Sorrentino's Main Street, Williamsville, Bills and Dolphins coming up within the hour. I'm Rich Kensler. This is the Shaq and First Down Buffalo pregame show, and we've put together the huddle. Our first go around with the huddle. I'm a better guy than I was during Thurman's interview because I at least got you guys drinks. I didn't even get the, how do you, you guys should feel really good about yourselves. The Hall of Famer didn't even get drinks. You guys at least got hey, a couple of drinks. Right? To Rich. Right, to Rich. you're welcome. <laughs> right. so, salute, guys. There we go. All right, so <laughs> here's what we're going to do during the huddle. I'm going to basically introduce all these guys. We're going to ask them some questions about the Bills and Dolphins and whoever, whatever else comes up, and we'll get a score prediction as well. Also in this segment, we're going to do a little thing called Tino's Dough, some Bills trivia questions where a chance at Sorrentino's gift cards are up for grabs. And by the way, if you want to be part of the huddle in weeks to come, all you got to do right here at the bottom of the screen is call this number and reserve your spot. It's that simple, okay? So let's introduce you first. Here's Sam 
from uh, from Williamsville. How you doing, man? Good. How are we doing? Glad to have you. Yes, sir. Good so I you. understand you are a pro football player. Yes, sir. Uh, it's in the Arena League, right? Where you most recently played for Carolina, correct? No, uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. Greensboro. And you're a quarterback? Yes, sir. A record-setting quarterback? You're way Say too that. polite for this show and for me, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate it, but so you have a little bit of expertise. So tell me a little bit. That, that, let's start with you with the with um, and I, your dad's here right next to you to your left. Yep. We'll ask you about the fourth and one in particular. But for you, being a quarterback and playing in the Arena League, obviously much more confined space. Think about that confined space on that fourth and one Josh Allen was in. Everybody, I think, thinks that he slipped and fell. Yeah. But there are other people that say he might have gone the wrong. How do you, how do you uh, determine how that fourth and short works as a quarterback? How do, you, how do you call out of the play that's called maybe? Like, how would you have approached that? Uh, I mean, I think, I think I love the call. I didn't love the, the, the QB sneak necessarily on fourth and one when we have Zach Moss and you can run a zone read with Josh. But I think, honestly, it was a little bit of both. He could have followed the center, and then also he did slip. Obviously, he's a big dude. He's going to fall forward, and that's the only time he hasn't fallen forward in his whole career, basically. So it was a little bit of both, but uh, it was just I think it was a tough, tough scene of events there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what's your score prediction? I'm going to go with 42 to 14. Blowout. Another blowout. Wow. Uh, so they're going to cover uh, in Sam's view. Here's Derek. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Um, so the fourth and one call, there's some back and forth on that too now. I think most people in the end think Josh Allen's 6'5", right? I've always been of the, of the attitude, and I don't know why Dable doesn't do this. Maybe because people know Dable and what Tom Brady has done over the years. Tom Brady's also 6'5". Tom Brady famously, when he's on short yardage, what does he do? Goes like that, yeah. right? I don't think I've ever seen Josh Allen do that, but you saw some numbers about that fourth and one call that, that you're concerned with. Yeah, well, I think Josh Allen, you know, he's he's fumbled in the past, right, in, in, in running plays, so I think he's real conservative with that. Mm -hmm. He has 13 out of 14 times made fourth and ones. Right. But it's the first time in NFL history that a coach has gone for it on fourth and one inside the red zone with less than a minute left and down three. So every other time in the NFL, they've always kicked a field goal. So we would have loved to have been the first team to make that, right? Right. But now you look at the analytics, and there's one one example, and it was failed. So you know the whole thing's analytics now. Uh, I think it was good a good call. We all wanted to see it happen. Most of the time we would have made it. I think every every other time, but one. Uh, but now everybody else is going to be gun shy. We're never doing that again. Right. You know? <laughs> uh, what's your score prediction? I think um, 35-10. Okay. Yeah, I think Dolphins have definitely improved. They've got a couple decent weapons. Gasecki uh, is tough to stop. Tua is getting a little better. His numbers aren't awful. Uh, but he's turnover happy. We're just w a way better team. Yeah. So I think three times better at least. Yeah, for sure. And and the other thing I think is interesting too about the Dolphin defense, everybody talks about their back end. They've given up 37 20-plus yard plays so far, and they only have three picks between Xavier and Howard and Byron Jones, right? Yeah, let's go is right. Uh, here's a Gene Porter. Gene, good to see you, man. You too, Rich. Um, let's talk a little bit about the hatred for the Dolphins. Now, it's kind of gone away. But you were a fan back, obviously, 70s, the 20 yes. game streak, right? Yes. We finally ended it. Then it was Marino Kelly, and you had Brian Cox and all of that back then. The rivalry's sort of gone away, but they are still a divisional team in a divisional game. So talk about that, how we still need to be concerned about them, good or bad, right? Well, it is the NFL, and anybody can win at any time. It's just, is it? Miami's time. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Not 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 in this day and age. But uh, like you said, I was part of the rivalry years, and it was fun to watch. You couldn't wait for the Miami game. You just couldn't wait for it, whether it was here or there. You wanted them to come here in December. That's all you wanted to see them play in is in December, because Miami's Miami. Yep. It's summertime down there all year <laughs> round. Yeah. So true. Yeah, I, I do, though, remember some winter games in the snow when Ricky Williams beat us really badly. I do remember some of those games. Regardless, what do you got for a score prediction today? Uh, I'm with Derek, 35 to 10. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no one sees this game as close at all. And I want to ask uh, uh, CJ the Rev here uh, about uh, a very important piece of the Bills offense to start the season who will not be playing in this game and has been lost for a couple of weeks. I'm talking about Dawson Knox. Who do you think helps pick up that productivity now lost by him being out a couple of weeks. Sure thing. Uh, I think even just uh, last week with uh, the Tennessee Titans, you see Beasley uh, really stepping up, you know, having a nine catches out of 11 targets. And I think they're going to see him 
uh, running across the middle a lot more. Uh, without that big target, you'll see that little one coming up just for those 10, 12 yards at a time. Sure, why not, right? Sure. All right, so your score prediction finally. I think I'm going to give Miami a couple more uh, through the uprights. I'm looking at 38 to 16. Okay, I'm going to stay with you. It's time to play Tino's Doe in our sure. two-minute drill. Ready? Ready? It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, Bill's trivia. If you get the first one right, it's 10 bucks. You can choose to stop or go on to the second one. If you get the second one wrong, you lose everything, and we'll give it to all these other guys, all right? Yes. Question number one, Thurman Thomas was our guest. Yeah. You ready? Yes, sir. Thurman Thomas was our guest earlier. Who did he start in front of, Hall of Famer, by the way, at Oklahoma State? Oh, jeez. Oh, man, that's, that's too hard for me. For $10. Anyone want to take a shot at this? I think it's Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders is absolutely right. So, uh, Derek, because you answered that correct, everybody's getting a $10 All gift right. card. You're welcome, guys. Well done. Guys. Well done. Well well done. done. <laughs> and CJ, if nothing else, not only did you get the gift card, yep. but you learned some completely meaningless trivia that you can I take did. with you yeah. going forward <laughs> after getting that. Uh, unfortunately wrong and having Derek having your back, because that's what the huddle's all about. We're about that's a right, team, right? right? We're, right. We're all in. Right? Mafia. All right. Guys, thanks for coming. Enjoy. Thank you, Sorrentinos. We're going to get these guys all squared away with some food and drinks as we continue with the show. Coming up next in the fourth quarter, we got the injury update with Dr. Todd Shatkin. And Jared comes back with me. We have our keys to the game as the 4-2 and two Bills take on the 1-6 and six Dolphins later this afternoon. This is the Shatkin first down Buffalo pregame show. I was in a car accident. Um, my front tooth cracked. It definitely embarrassed a smile. I got mini dental implants. It changed my life because it made me feel like me. Like I can smile and feel like Ashley. I just want to say thank you. Mini dental implants can change your life too. You can be you again. Call us at 839-1700 for a free consultation. I'm more than happy, I'm ecstatic. Okay, team, we're down by six with only one play left. It's comeback time. Yeah. yeah. We need a play. The reverse ribeye. No good. The porterhouse pitch. Too risky. The strip steak sweep. That's it. Go Russell. Touchdown. Where would you like to have dinner tonight? Russell's, of course. Be my guest and let us do the rest. The holidays are coming. Get in the spirit and stock your fridge and freezer with Variety's Virtual Meat Raffle Holiday Celebration Edition and support the Variety Kids Telethon. <laughs> get your tickets now starting at just $10 a round. Buy more rounds and get great discounts. Plus, take an extra chance on a brand new freezer stocked with meat, seafood, and more. Ho, ho, ho. Then watch to see if you win Thursday, November 11th, live at 7 p.m. on the Variety Club of Buffalo Facebook page. Get tickets and more info at varietybuffalo.org. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin, the clinical director here at the New Shatkin Dental Health Postgraduate Dental Residency Program. For years, I've felt there's been a need to help those patients who just can't afford quality care but want to be treated in a private dental office setting. Shatkin Dental Health will save you 20 to 30% on the procedures you need without compromising the care you deserve. Call Shatkin Dental Health today at 43 Smile and receive a dental cleaning and x-rays for only $43. And as always, consultations are free. It's almost game time. I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin with this week's injury update. Now, there's no dental injuries this week, but if you're playing a contact sport, make sure you wear your mouth guard. The Bills have released their injury report for today's game, and for eight weeks into the season, it's not looking too bad, with just a couple notable exceptions. The Bills may be without the services of O-lineman Spencer Brown, who did not practice due to a back injury. He was joined by defensive tackle Justin Zimmer, who was out with a foot injury. Dawson Knox underwent surgery for his hand injury this week and the timetable for his return is unknown at this point. Dawson has been having a great season thus far. The story of his off-season workouts has been an inspiration to young players throughout Western New York. I know I join our entire football family at the Shatkin Sports Network along with our Bills Mafia family in wishing Dawson and the other injured Bills players a quick recovery. On a positive note, 
All the Bills players have been brushing their teeth and flossing daily. Back to you, Rich and Jared, for the keys to this week's game. Welcome back to the Shackin First Down Buffalo pregame show. Bills and Dolphins within the hour time for our keys to the game with Jared Shackin. Jared, you kick it off the Bills 4-2, and two, the Dolphins 1-6. and six. Dolphins' last couple of games have been close, but losses to Jacksonville and Atlanta. Two has gotten progressively better in his play since returning after the injury in the first Bills game. You got the Dolphins and the keys for their victory if they were going to win today. What do you think? Yeah, so Tua definitely has to continue to, to play well and take care of the ball as he has been the last two weeks. Um, he threw a really bad interception that last game, though, but those last two drives where he came back, tied the game, and and put them ahead until uh, the Falcons ultimately went and kicked that field goal to win were, were pretty impressive to me. I think Tua is starting to progress. Um, I think the keys for them to win will just be to get the ball to Jalen Waddell and Mike Gusecki. They're two stars. They need to try to get them involved if they're going to be able to do anything uh, offensively against the Bills. Uh, I don't really believe that they're going to be able to execute that game plan, but that's the way they're going to do it if they're going to. Yeah, for sure. And I'll get a score prediction from you in a second. So another thing I would think for the Dolphins, too, is long extended drives. Keep that Bills offense off the field, right? I think that would be really important for them. Now for the Bills. Listen, you got to beat the teams you're supposed to beat. Miami, you're supposed to beat. You beat them 35-0 in their house in week two. You got to win this game. It's a divisional game. It's a home game. You're in front of your crowd for the first time in a month. So you got to win this game. First meeting, Bills 4-4 four for four in the red zone. They come off a bad red zone game against Tennessee. That's got to get better. Establish the run game. They had three rush touchdowns when Josh wasn't so good in that first meeting between these two teams. Establish the run game. Get that going. I say jump on the Dolphins early. Get a big lead, and you're going to be fine, I think, in this game. Who's going to replace Dawson Knox's productivity? I think that's a big question mark for the Bills, and I think they're going to have to answer that today to win. Also, attack to a hurries, hits, sacks, pressures, all of it, and it's Halloween. Disguise things for him as well. It's only his 13th career start. I say jump on him as well with that. And again, back to Halloween, give the Bills crowd lots of dolphin opportunities to boo Miami. Get it? Halloween. So, Jared, back to you for your score prediction. What do you think, Bills Dolphins, today? I don't believe uh, the Dolphins are going to be able to stop an angry Buffalo team. I think the Bills are going to win this game 34-17. to I, that would be my score prediction. And I got the Bills winning 30 to 13. I think they cover again. This is a chance today against Jacksonville and against the Jets to restore the dominance that the Bills looked like they had going into the Tennessee game. That's going to do it from Sorrentino's on Main Street in Williamsville for the Shack and First Down Buffalo pregame show. Thanks to Thurman Thomas for being here. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the game. We'll be back here next Sunday at noon here on WBBZ. If you would like to be a participant in the Shatkin First Down Huddle, email Mark Ahrens at marons at shatkinfirst.com. This has been a production of the Shatkin Sports Network.